Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. We say good morning and welcome to our International Church of God by Faith uh, monthly prayer, our first and third uh, Monday prayer. And so once again, I am your host, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our district elder and, and our father and the person of Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District. But we thank God that there's no one district greater than another. We thank God that we are all, just like Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, members in particular. Glory to God. We are the body of Christ. And so I want to thank God because it doesn't matter from the Gainesville district all the way over to Monrovia, Liberia, on the African continent. Folks speaking Mandinka over there. Sama! No, saying good morning. People down in uh, South America, all in Argentina, Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. Uh, Jesus Cristo es la respuesta todo tiempo para todo el mundo. Jesus Christ, he's the answer all the time for all people and for the whole world. Glory to God. So there's no one district or one uh, part of this international church that's greater than another. So we thank God for this entire international church, those on the call and even those who will be joining us in the playback. I want to thank God for uh, Pastor Michael Stevenson, uh, you're my incredible um, brother in Christ and alternate host that you have heard on this uh, prayer line. And so we thank God for what he said in his word. And so I'm thankful, um, and not just for us as hosts, uh, but I'm thankful this morning that we're joined by a dynamic prayer leader, and that is in the person of Pastor John Laws, a Northwestern New York district. We thank God for you. And so uh, just before we receive him, before we receive Pastor Laws, let me just say what our focus is again. We're gathered together as an international church now, and even when parts of our international church will catch this call on the playback, our focus is we're praying that uh, the power of God will impact our nation and government and places of learning, teachers and students, our educational institutions. Glory to God. These places and spaces, we just came out of this impact conference, transforming cities and places. Well, these places and spaces need to be impacted by the power of God. Look at it. Certain folks in our nation Glory to God, say that they're all for law enforcement, but when uh, certain law enforcement, FBI, they conducting business as usual, pursuing justice and the truth, uh, because of what they're doing and who they're focusing on, folks are coming out with the woodwork, with guns, with rifles, folks shooting up, trying to attack FBI in Cincinnati, people being killed all over government. And law enforcement doing its job. Glory to God. Look at our educational institutions. Look at, um, we're still just in the wake of the Uvalde shooting. Kids are back in school now. Uh, if there was ever a time to pray for not only the safety of students, but that students on all levels, now kindergarten to high school, collegiate students would rise up and blow the trumpet, declare Jesus Christ. Students would be saved in all of these spectrums like never before. If there was ever a time for that, then now is that time. And someone who's listening to this, you're in Argentina or you're in the Dominican Republic, you're in Jamaica, uh, glory to God. You're in Haiti, glory to God. You're uh, on the other side of the world. You're on the African continent. Well, those nations, glory to God, and those government systems need to be impacted by the power of God as well. Students uh, in Monrovia, students down in Chile, glory to God, students in Haiti, that are going to school, they need to be, uh, the, the power of God needs to impact their institutions as well. And so, glory to God, that's our focus. And so I want to encourage you now, let's not be spectators, and let's not just uh, listen to Pastor Laws, but let's join him. Let's raise our voice. He said one can chase a thousand, two can put 10,000 in the flight. So let's join Pastor Laws, and let's raise our voices and go to God in prayer. Let's receive Pastor Laws now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Good morning and thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence with thanksgiving. Father, we thank you for the day that we have not seen before, a day that is filled with your glory and your power. 
Father, you have sent your anointing, O oh God, upon every believer and impacted our lives with your power. Father, help us to realize, O oh God, that if we would rise up and speak with the voice of God, that we could change the world. Father, we pray that the holiness, O oh God, be exhumed, O oh God, in our lives, that we would be revived and realize who we are and whose we are. Father, that we would be about your business, O oh God, preaching this gospel, living this gospel according to your word. Father, your word says after we have done all that we could do, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So, Father, help us to realize that there is more work to be done. Our voices must be heard through all the earth. According to your word, Lord, in Joel 1, 14, you said, Sanctify ye fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all of the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord, your God, and cry unto the Lord. So, Father, this morning we are crying unto you, God. Bless us to realize the power that we have through your spirit. Father, place us in places, O oh God, where our voices would be heard in the government, O oh God, in our schools, in our jobs. Help us to cry loud and spare not, O oh God, and show the people their transgressions, whether they would hear or forbear. Father, you gave us a mandate, God, to make disciples of all men. So, Father, bless us, anoint us, revive us, strengthen us, God, with your peace and your joy. For we bind the spirit of fear, for you have not given it unto us, O God, but the power of love and a sound mind. Father, help us to realize, O God, that we have all the power we need through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let every believer, God, that's on this line, Father, realize that we have the power. We are the voice. We are the ambassadors of Christ. Father, therefore, if we could unite, God, if we, every man, every woman, speak to our city officials, oh, God, to impact them, God, to sanctify our fast in every city of the nation, even to our nation's capital, God, let the president, oh, God, his cabinet, every government leader, Father, find a voice, let a voice be heard in their ear, God, that impact their life through the power of your word. Father, we pray, O oh God, that we would rise up and be that city, O oh God, on fire, God, that send, O oh God, the earth right side up. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you would, O oh God, send the revival. O oh God, only you, God, we have spoken the word. We have done all that we can do, God. And, Father, we realize that it's going to take you to move upon the face of the people, O oh God. Only you can open the blind eyes. Only you, O oh God. O oh Father, have the authority, and you place it in us. So help us to realize, God, that if we would but speak the word in faith, Father, how much we could change things. Father, if we would just make that one step, God. Father, we realize that you, O oh God, would do the rest. So, Father, bless us to speak into their hearing your anointed word. Let the fire of your spirit be blazing in us, O oh God, with confidence, God, that we would just reopen our mouth, that you would speak for us, Lord, as long as we speak your word with the authority that has been given unto us, God, that we could make such an impact in our schools. Father, if it took a person to get it out, it ought to... Father, we then ought to impact our leaders to put prayer back in the school in the name of Jesus. And our jobs speak up and live the life before them that the anointing God would radiate, oh God, so forcefully, God, that they would see what must I do to be saved. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we glorify you, we magnify you, we adore you today, God, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, oh God. Open our eyes, open our ears that we might know, O oh God, you are still with us. O oh Father, not just the small things for the houses and the cars and all these things. You said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto us. So, Father, bless the power now of your spirit. O oh God, be unseen. 
accept it in our minds and our hearts. God, bless us to receive you, the mandate that you have put on every believer's heart, God, to change the course of nature in this world, God, in the matchless name of Jesus. So bless us this morning, Father, to reach out. Let us connect to the vine, Father, and realize the power and authority that we have in the earth in the matchless name of Jesus. Oh, Father, refresh us. Send your anointing rain, O oh God, upon us, O oh God, in our churches, God, in every place that there is the name of Christ, God, that the truthfulness and righteousness be heard with power. Help us to impact the life of our neighbor, our families, God, in the name of Jesus, through righteous living. O oh, Father, for your word declared unto us that righteousness exalted the nature a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So, Father, help us to combat the sin, God, in the name of Jesus. Every abominable thing, God, we have authority over it. So we pray now, Father, that you would bless, sanctify it, O God, in the matchless name of Jesus, that you may be glorified in the earth, Father, that you may be blessed by through your people in the matchless name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise, we give you the honor, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, yes, and amen. Hallelujah. Again, I say yes and amen. So be it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord. The answer to the promises of God, they are yea and amen. Yes and amen. So be it. Glory to God. According to your word, like Mary told the angel, be it unto us, be it unto me, according to your word, according to what you have spoken and what you have said, be it unto our nation, according to the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God this morning. We give God glory and honor and praise. I want to thank God this morning for uh, our prayer leader, uh, Pastor John Laws, Northwestern New York District. We thank God for you, Pastor Laws. Uh, glory to God. Laws, the law of God, reign supreme. Glory to God. I, I couldn't help uh, as I was uh, meditating and praying alongside uh, Pastor Laws. My mind uh, was taken back to uh, Psalms 119, which is the longest passage of Scripture in the Bible, uh, over 150-odd verses in Psalms uh, 119. It's the most that God has ever had to say about any one thing at any time. And all the Psalms 119 is all about the law, the word of God. The law of God, his word, it reigns supreme. Glory to God. He did say heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. He did say in 2 Peter chapter 1, glory to God, he did say that we have also a more sure word of prophecy, that whereunto you do well that you take heed as into a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. We can trust the word of God. His word is sure. It is settled. His word is forever settled in heaven. And it's that word that we declare on this earth. So we thank God and we can say yes and amen. We can truly declare yes and amen. The power of God is and will and all the more impact our nation and our government. He did say the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. God is able to turn the hearts of governmental officials and leaders and those in high places. And so we have done, I thank God for Pastor Law's 
uh, lifting up prophetic prayer, lifting up God's word back to God. That's what he said in Isaiah chapter 43. He said, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. He said, declare thou that thou mayest be justified. God wants to know that we know that his word is the only answer and hope for men. It, it, he, but Pastor Laws was praying in faith because he was praying according to the word of God. He said that in Romans 10, glory to God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We can't pray in faith unless we pray according to his word. So I thank God that it's the power of God that is impacting our nation and government, the same power that's causing us to go and transform cities and places. That's why Paul said to Timothy, I exhort that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, governmental officials, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. And we thank God that his power is impacting, glory to God, our schools from kindergarten to, to uh, high school, to collegiate, uh, to graduate school, glory to God, masters in uh, MBAs, uh, PhD programs, that the influence and power of God is even being felt there. He said in Ecclesiastes 12, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, glory to God, while the evil days come not, before all sorts of things begin to happen. And so we thank God, that that's why we can say yes and amen. He did say, oh, glory to God, in Philippians chapter 2, he said that you may be harmless, I'm sorry, blameless, Philippians 2 and 15, he said that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as light in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. That was Paul's prayer over the Philippian church. It's the same prayer over this international church of God by faith on any continent and around the world, not just domestically in these United States. Glory to God. That's why we know that God's power is impacting our nation, our government, glory to God, and then um, our educational centers where our children are going to school. Oh, glory to God. Listen, I thank God. Uh, Abigail was at this summer camp, oh, glory to God, and they started having a conversation about LGBTQ, about uh, living in a, a different sexual orientation, having a, a, a perverse mindset, glory to God. I just told you that he said in Philippians 2 and 15 that you might be blameless, harmless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Well, Abigail had this conversation, glory to God, and she ended up having a little conversation with these young girls, and the, uh, Abigail had to go on one side of the room, and the other girls had to go on the other side of the room, and they had a separation, they had a break there, because she's a, this girl, she's third, fourth grade student, she had this conversation and said that I don't agree with this uh, LGBTQ lifestyle, I don't agree with that, they're talking about it in third grade, they're talking about it in fourth grade. And so this young saved Abigail, woman of God, is end up on the other side of the classroom. And glory to God. And so I thank God that we're raising up, glory to God, children. Like Jesus said, when he said in Luke 18, they brought also to him infants, that he would touch them. His disciples saw what they rebuked him. But Jesus called them unto him and said, suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not for of such is the kingdom of God. Glory to God. That's why I can say that glory to God. We thank God that his power and his influence, his impact, glory to God, is influencing places and spaces, glory to God, cities and places, nations, glory to God, and places and spaces, and even down to, glory to God, educational for you. 
God and all glory and honor to him. And so we encourage you to join us every first and third uh, Monday as we come back here. I thank God on behalf of your host, myself, Minister Dunmore, Pastor Michael Stevenson. Glory to God. We thank God for all of you. And so we say go forward today. Make it a great day. Let your light shine. Come on. Be shining in the midst of this nation. And we'll give God the glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God.